If I asked you who was the most dangerous person on the planet, what would your answer be? The average person's answer would be a criminal. Or somebody who told tax people. Or a rapist. Take the G off. What if I told you that all of those answers were wrong? The most dangerous person that walks the planet on earth today is somebody who has absolutely nothing to lose. Black women, if you keep playing with your lives and the lives of your children with these men that you are giving birth to, that are going around removing you and your children from existence at least every five and a half hours from what we know of currently i'm i'm starting to think it's more than that as many as i hear about it one day you're playing with danger you're playing with fire i was sitting meditating earlier and i was talking to my ancestors and they were telling me that you all do not know what type of a pickle you have gotten yourselves into the worship of mankind is going to be your demise. Now you are supposed to be the mothers of all life. They say that you possess the Eve gene. Meaning all life, scientifically, had to come from you. Now since most of you are Christians, I want to ask you a question. Does not the Bible tell you that if you spare the rod, you spoil the child? Now, let's take a look at the word spoil. If something is spoiled, is it able to be recovered? For instance, if you go in the kitchen. And you find spoiled milk. Are you able to recover that milk? If you go into the refrigerator. And there's spoiled food. Are you able to recover that food? Or do you have to get rid of it? Because of the smell. Because it causes bad effects on the body if you ingest it. Because it makes you sick if you put it in your body. Or do you ignore the foul odor, the mold growing on it, the black mold possibly growing on it, the stench that is coming from it? And do you just consume it anyway? Even if you have a whole refrigerator full of food, Cabinets and freezer full of fresh food. Do you still consume what's spoiled? Let's talk about why the reference spoil is used. That means if you do not correct someone who is in error in their behavior, it is your job as their parent, the mother of all life, with the EG. It is your job to correct their behavior. Black men statistically are the most violent in the black community. They are the ones who are the biggest threat to black women and children. In some communities, we can't even walk down the street without being hit with straight bullets. Some places, we can't even go to Walmart without a man, a man trying to grope us and grape us. Take the G off the front. In public, in front of people. We can't walk to our apartments without someone graping us. Our children are out of control, black women. You're giving birth to these men. They can't give birth to you. 
we all have to take responsibility. Are we waiting for the universe to intervene? Are we waiting to go down with the ship? Are we waiting for the Titanic to sink? What are we doing? The power of life was given unto you. You choose who comes through your womb. You choose if a person breathes and, and exists. You do not give birth to offspring that turns around and is the biggest threat to your life. It is psychotic. It does not make sense. And it is irresponsible. If you are responsible, you will discipline your children. You need to teach them that what they are doing to you, abandoning their offspring, taking your lives with their bare hands, groping and graping you in public is unacceptable. You're not stronger than them physically. The police can only do so much. What is the greatest strength of a woman? The power to give life. Use it wisely.